This is Off the Dirt. I'm Alexis Bloomer, and it's an honor to be with Jim Pickens. Not yeah. only are you an actor on Grey's Anatomy, but you're an avid team roper, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like cool. to have, see the cross, you know, between acting and team roping. Yeah, so it's been a passion <laughs> of mine for a long time. And, you know, you try and get a diversion in Hollywood and kind of get away from all the craziness. And I've always loved the Western lifestyle and horses. And, Got involved with Team Rope and All Man. It's been almost 20 years ago, and it's wow. a great hobby. You know, I had a good time with it. Well, the Western world's in love with you too, oh, and all your roles. You do you. a phenomenal job thank on the screen. You. I appreciate and it. What's cool about you too is that you're great on screen, but you're even better off screen as a person. Oh, you do thank so you. much thank with you. charity work. You thank and your you. wife both put yeah. a lot of effort into it. Thank and one you. thing that actually is pretty cool is you're a Wrangler guy. Yeah. People don't know that. Yeah. Your event is sponsored yeah. by Wrangler. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about the Jim Pickens your charity event. Yeah, Let's well, talk about your team well, roping. Yeah, my wife and I, we started this team roping event. Uh, this will be year number nine, 2018. Wow. Uh, as a way to draw attention to some of the charities that we support and that are all California based. Uh, one's a cowboy camp for kids, another one is an after school program. And then just last year, we partnered with the Clovis Rodeo Foundation. They have a, a charitable wing that we wanted to support as well. And we wanted to do something other than just write a check. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, I, I went to some guys that I roped with who had put on ropings before, uh, the classic cowboy. Uh, and um, so uh, I said, you know, I wanna, what would it take to put a roping on? And I was fortunate enough to make some great relationships over the years with a lot of the PRCA cowboys and Carl Stressman and, and Jeff Chadwick of Daniel. And so they were kind enough to, to, to kind of usher me in. And we started small, uh, right about an hour north of Los Angeles, at the, the famous Tejon Ranch, a very historic ranch. And then about three years ago, we were approached by the Clovis Rodeo Committee uh, through a, a gentleman who was our stock contractor. And uh, we, uh, we ushered in their Clovis Rodeo Week. So we, we designated that Tuesday right before the slack as uh, this charity open roping. And uh, it's, it's been a huge, huge draw since then. And uh, the response has been great from the open ropers. Uh, we added a pro-am about three years ago that's been really, really successful. So, uh, and, and at the end of the day, what it does is it draws attention and, and it makes an impact with our charities. And we're, we're really excited about that. I think to date we've raised a little over seventy thousand dollars for wow. California-based charity, so we're really proud of it. That is amazing, definitely. And people can come. It's open to the public, correct? It's open to the public. Anybody can come, and and it's you know it's on a, during the midweek. But the folks who like roping, they'll they'll, they'll take come. off work. We won't let them know, but yeah, they'll take off work and come. And so, it is yeah. a great event. I've had Thank the opportunity you. to yes, go. Yes, I know you've come. And it's yeah. been it was fun. You get to watch all the top guys. Yes, so you get to watch yeah, guys that yeah. just come to rope. Yes. And then yeah. of course you're there, and your wife's there, yeah. and it's so cool because your wife was working in the concession yes, stand. Yes. Like it is a sweet. family affair. Which it I think is, is just truly it is. important. It is. Yeah, and we wanted to keep it that and, and kind of, a, for lack of a better term, a mom and pop operation. Yeah. But we've gotten great assistance now the last year that are really great. Margo and Michelle have really stepped up and they're really good. And yeah, we've, we've surrounded ourselves with really capable people. But I think the most important thing were well, these are people that shared our vision. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're looking for. We were really, we're really excited about it. So you've mentioned some of the charities you work with, uh -huh. but do you have the names of them so people can yeah, get involved? Yeah, we, we support a, a great cowboy camp. Actually, our, the founder is here with me today. Uh, it's called Camp Giddy of Nine Winds Ranch Foundation. Started about 20 years ago, and it was a way to offer kids, especially those youth at risk in the inner cities of Los Angeles, a chance to experience a cowboy lifestyle. So Mr. Terman has a ranch about an hour outside of Los Angeles, and for free, for a weekend, he brings a, a number of kids up to experience riding and, and roping, and they, they, they have trailers set up uh, almost like bunkhouses. And he made a, 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 a man-made pond where they can swim in, and they tell cowboy stories, and, and they just uh, they, they, they see a different world, and, uh, and it's really impacted them. And then our other charity is a, a, a wonderful, wonderful organization called Hands for Hope founded by uh, an incredible woman, uh, uh, Lydia Floyd. Mm -hmm. And she started a program, she saw a need for kids after school that were kind of the tweeners, you know, mm -hmm. that 15 to 18 window. Yeah, it's was really, Yeah, really vulnerable and, and give them a safe place to come and do homework. Uh, she feeds them and if they have a parent who's working and have them be there for them. And in a couple of cases, she's actually taking kids who were homeless and brought them in and gave them a place to be and, and a, a safe haven. Mm -hmm. And it's really an incredible organization. So those are the two main ones that we, we, we feel that we needed to support and draw attention to. 
I definitely. Those are Thank two you. great organizations. Like you, you said, you so it keeps, keeps off the streets. <clears throat> yeah. It gives them something that's kind of an outlet, kind of like how yeah. it was for you. Like Absolutely. you said, Rope and Jure Absolutely. Outlet Absolutely. helps those kids as well. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm like, looking forward to going to it during yeah. the Clovis Rodeo. We're oh, excited another you. year. Looking so. forward to having you back. Absolutely. Yes, that would be amazing. And yeah. so real quick before we leave, yeah. what's on your plate right now? What's the new uh, in the world, well, we, uh, we just uh We just aired our 300th episode of Grey's Anatomy. We're now. I'll give you a I know. Isn't that kind of cool, right? We're now one of the top 10 longest running shows in television history. Wow. Uh, next season, uh, we will surpass ER as the longest running medical drama in television history. ER has 15 seasons, we're at 14. So sometime next season, mm -hmm. we'll surpass them by maybe an episode or two as, as the longest running medical drama. So that's been a an, a, an incredible blessing and to be there from day one. To say you've you know, been the man. To, to watch that, that gestation and that, that evolution of that show and the impact it's had and it's become iconic in television you know and, and it's just to be a part of that it's 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 just real history so and i'm glad and i have a a, a project that, that we're, we're trying to, to get produced a western based on a true story and that uh, along with morgan freeman so we're very excited about that well that's a good cast already yeah, i'm interested yeah, so yeah it's going yes. good. a lot of stuff happening well, good. It's good. always great to be busy, and oh, yeah. thank you so much for making oh, time no, for us out here pleasure. at the National Finals. Thank you for having me. I always have a blast. Of course. Good. Well, thank you, and good luck. We'll see thank you soon. Sounds Clovis. Good. Go right yeah. Go right thank you guys for tuning thank in to you. Off the Dirt. We'll see you next time.